Hey guys, A28 Find Adventure. I'm about to install some triple JDM horns for the Subaru Legacy right here. This will also work in the Outback years 2015 through 19. So let's get to it. Hey guys, if you're new to my channel, you notice that I do a lot of mods on a Toyota Tundra. Well, I've started to incorporate even more mods on our Subaru. So go to my channel, search Subaru and a bunch of videos will come up where I've done certain mods, including lifting it two inches. So check it out and thanks for watching. Okay guys, so I've got the JDM horn for the Subaru Legacy and I believe it also fits the Outback years 2015 through 19. Um, came in this box, it has a, looks like a 10 amp fuse taped to the top and per directions you're supposed to install that fused and make sure it goes to the circuit that goes to the two horns that are plugged in not the one so i think on the jdm they're flipped so you will have to flip that fuse in the car um i will post uh, a link to the um to the chat where i read about this where somebody else did the install but let's check it out and see what's in the box so we got we got here we got zip tie we got the one into two harness looks factory we got the horns here that say Subaru see this one another Subaru this has the, the plug on the back this one has these two little plug-ins we got some hardware here and some brackets have to figure out how to how to do those, but all the necessary hardware is there. If you look, you can see this bracket and see this one right here. Got a nut and a bolt, and one more horn here. This one has a bracket on it as well, and the factory plug-in. So this will go to the harness. So to match those up, they go like that, and uh, that's what we got. And that's what we're going to install today. Not sure where these parts go. I'm going to have to refer to that chat that I saw on the horn and uh, go from there. So there you go. That's everything that comes in the box. You got two horns for one side, single for the other. We have the harness for the double horns. We have a nut, a bolt, a couple of things here, a couple of brackets. We'll have to figure out if we need to use those. You know, we might not need to use them all. We'll just have to see. And uh, so let's start taking this thing apart. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a drop cloth. You can also use a quilt or a packing blanket um, under the bumper. So when I drop the bumper off, it doesn't get scratched up. So let's go ahead and get that going. I also, to make it easier to get to all the clips and everything, I... Uh, I put my front of the car up on ramps. So uh, they're the, uh, the rhino ramps, I believe is what they're called. Um, anyways, I'll uh, put a link to those if you want. Uh, they will work with this Legacy. Of course, I have a two inch lift kit on this Legacy, but even with it low, I think this car at stock height would still be able to get up on these ramps. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these clips. They go all the way around. Oh, that one's missing. So is that one. These clips are right here. They have to come off first, as you can see. All of those. These that are missing, I'm going to go ahead and replace those uh, when I put the bumper back on. But um, those definitely need to be done. Yeah, I'm going to be using these tools here to pry off some of these clips. And uh, they come in handy because they're made of metal and they don't get as much flex.
So here, you have to unclip. Across here, it hangs up. Here it hangs up, and right here it hangs up. You can see that, but it does come off. I've turned it underneath. I can get to all the wiring and the fog lights. Boy, this probably needs a good vacuuming. Maybe I'll clean that up. You will have to do the same thing if you want to remove the grill and replace it. Or this is also the easiest way to replace your, your fog light bulbs. I'll be doing those also today. But also, um, you know, if you want to replace your grill, there's a couple of cr clips and screws. But you have to remove the bumper to do it. There's no other way. So what I did here is I had to swap the sides. The double is on the passenger side and I'm going to bolt them on and that leaves room for the fog light right here. And I had to make this little wire since the harness is flipped. I had to make this little wire here to connect them to the double harness right here, but that's not going to be a problem. So this is how I ended up mounting the horns. The single goes on the driver's side. I had to ground it to the mounting bolt right here, and I used the regular Subaru horn plug to plug into the horn. On the passenger side, I used the harness that it came with for two horns, plugged in, and then I made a little wire uh, to connect that harness to the factory harness because it's not. This is not a Japanese car, so there is some things are reversed. I also, as you can tell, I have one horn forward and one horn back. That's so the fog light fits in here. And then I just zip tied up the wires. It also comes with a 10 amp fuse. That is something I'm going to swap out. Let's see where these are. These are right here, right next to that. And so it's the top one. I will put a link to these pictures. All right, guys, you ready for a test? Let's check this out. Now that's a real horn. Now just put everything back together the way you took it off. I'm also going to replace the fog lights while I'm here with some yellow LED fog lights. I hope you enjoyed the install video. If you would, please subscribe. Please hit the thumbs up button. I'll be doing more Subaru videos later on and uh, in the future. So, um, you know, I will see you next time. See ya. Okay, guys. How does this horn sound? Let's put down the window. How does this horn sound? Sounds a lot better than that Roadrunner horn that comes on the Subarus or the lower model Toyotas. But this thing sounds great. And it's loud. And it will get people's attention. I mean, it is awesome. I'm sure people think I'm a nut for, for driving around honking my horn, but I'm just testing it out.